video. Let's miss Flores. So today we're going to be talking about multiplying decimals. So on Friday, we learned about multiplying three digit by two digit numbers. Now we're just going to expand that knowledge a little bit to talk about uh, what I would do if I wanted to multiply two decimal numbers together. So my first step is I'm going to multiply my numbers as if they were whole numbers. So let's say I've got 8 and 5 tenths times 2 and 5 tenths. I'm basically going to ignore their decimals for a second and just pretend that I'm multiplying 85 times 25. So I'd multiply my 5 out first, 5 times 5, and then 5 times 8. Don't forget your placeholder 0 when you're multiplying out that 2. Then you would do 2 times 5 and 2 times 8. When you do all that multiplication, you end up with uh, 2,125, but that's not my final answer. My next step is I'm going to count the total decimal places in my numbers. So if I were to go back and look at my original problem, I see that I have um, one number to the right of my decimal in 8.5, and then I've also got one number to the right of my decimal in 2.5. So I have two numbers to the right of my decimal total. My very last step is I'm going to give my answer the same number of decimal places that was in my multiplication problem. So just like we said before, I had one number to the right of my decimal in 8.5. I had one number to the right of my decimal in 2.5. That is two numbers to the right of my decimal total. So I'm going to scoot my decimal over to the left two places so I end up with two numbers in my decimal place in my answer. So my final answer would be 21 and 25 hundredths. So let's uh, try some on our own. All right, my first problem, I've got 14.8 times 0.5. All right, so. All right, so my first step is I'm going to multiply out my 5 just like I would if I was pretending it was just a 5, right? I'm going to ignore my decimals for, uh, for a bit. So I'm going to do 5 times 8, which is 40. Carry the 4. 5 times 4 is 20. Plus 4 is 24. Carry the 2. 5 times 1 is 5. Plus 2 is 7. So I'm done with my 5. So I'm going to multiply out my 0. So I've got to do a placeholder 0. And I'm going to put my smiley face there. Now I'm going to multiply out my 0. Well, 0 times anything is 0, right? So 0 times 8 is 0. 0 times 4 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. So now I'm going to add my numbers together. So 0 plus 0 is 0. 4 plus 0 is 4. 7 plus 0 is 7. And 0 is just 0. I don't really even need that zero. So I end up with 740, but I'm not done. My last step is to check how many numbers I have to the right of my decimal. So to the right of my decimal, I had this 8 and this 5. That is two numbers to the right of my decimal. So my decimal starts over on the right, and I scoot it over two places. So I have 1, 2, and I end up with... 7.40, 7 and 40 hundredths as my answer. Let's try another one. All right, now I have 3 and 55 hundredths times 5 hundredths. So my first step is I'm going to multiply out my 5. So I'm going to do 5 times 5, then 5 times 5, then 5 times 3. So 5 times 5 is 25. Carry the 2, 5 times 5 is 25, plus 2 is 27. Carry the 2, 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 is 17. So I'm not done yet. i got to have my placeholder smiley down here. And I'm going to multiply out my 0 next. So 0 times anything is 0, right? So all my answers are going to end up being 0. 0 times 5 is 0, 0 times 5 is 0. 0 times 3 is 0. Now I'm ready to add all my numbers together. So I'm going to do 5 plus 0 is 5. 7 plus 0 is 7. 7 plus 0 is 7. 1 plus 0 is 7. So that is not my final answer yet. So the next thing that I've got to do is I'm going to look for 
all of the numbers that are to the right of my decimal place. So I've got one, two, three, four. So I need to have four numbers as decimal places in my answer. So my answer, my decimal starts here on the right. Remember, if it's out of sight, it's to the right. And I'm going to scoot it over to the left four places. One, two, three, four. My decimal ends up here. So my answer ends up equaling 0 0.1775. Which would be 1,775 ten thousandths, if I wanted to pronounce it that way. Let's try another one. All right, now I have 26.5 times 37. So my first step is multiplying this 7 out. So I'm going to do 7 times 5, 7 times 6, then 7 times 2. 7 times 5 is 35. Carry the 3. 7 times 6 is 42, plus 3 is 45. Carry the 4, 7 times 2 is 14, plus 4 is 18. So, I'm not done yet. i got to multiply out my 3. So I jump to the bottom, next row, do my placeholder smiley, and now I'm ready to multiply this 3 out. So I'll do 3 times 5, then 3 times 6, then 3 times 2. Make sure to get rid of your numbers that you carried so you don't accidentally use them. 3 times 5 is 15. Carry the 1. 3 times 6 is 18, plus 1 is 19. Carry the 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So now I add all my answers together. Well, 5 plus 0 is 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. Carry the 1. 1 plus 8 plus 9 is 18. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 7 is 9. All right. So I've done all my multiplication. Now my last step is to look for the numbers that are to the right of my decimal. Well, I only see one, and it would be this 5, right? Because that 0.5, so I'm only going to move my decimal one place to the left. So it starts here. I move it over 1, and I end up with 980.5. and five tenths. All right. Let's try this one. We've got 655 hundredths times 15, I'm sorry, 655 thousandths times 15 hundredths. So my first step is going to be to multiply out this 5 right here. So I'm going to do 5 times 5, then 5 times 5 again, then 5 times 6. So 5 times 5 is 25. Carry the 2. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 2 is 27. Carry the 2. 5 times 6 is 30. Plus 2 is 32. Alright, so I'm done with my 5. Now I'm going to move on to multiplying out my 1. But I've got to jump to the next row, because that's where my answers for my 1 are going to go. Put my placeholder smiley. Now I'm ready to multiply out my 1. So 5 times 1 is 5. 1 times 5 is 5. And 1 times 6 is 6. Now I'm going to add my answers together. So 5 plus 0 is 5, 7 plus 5 is 12, carry the 1, 1 plus 2 plus 5 is 8, and then 3 plus 6 is 9. So I've done my multiplication, now I've just got to add my decimal back into my answer. So I'm going to look at all my numbers that are to the right of my decimal place, or the right of my decimal. So I'm going to see that 6, 5, 5, 1, and 5 are all to the right of my decimal. So I'm going to scoot my decimal to the left five places. So it starts here. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. So my decimal is going to land right here. But you see that I've got this blank space I didn't use. Anytime you have a blank space, you're going to put a zero. So my answer ends up being 0 0.09825. All right, let's look at the next problem. Now I've got 9 and 95 hundredths times 13. So I'm going to multiply my 3 out first. So I'm going to do 3 times 5, then 3 times 9, then 3 times 9. 3 times 5 is 15. Carry the 1. 3 times 9 is 27, plus 1 is 28. Carry the 2. 3 times 9 is 27, plus 2 is 29. 
So I've multiplied my three out. Now I'm going to go to my next row, draw my placeholder smiley, and I'm ready to multiply out my one. So I'm going to do one times five, then one times nine, then one times nine. So one times five is five. One times nine is nine. One times nine is nine. So I'm going to add up my numbers. So five plus zero is five. Eight plus five is 13. Carry the one. Nine plus nine plus one is 19. Carry the one. One plus two plus nine is 12. All right, so I'm not done with my answer yet. I need to put my decimals back in. So I count how many numbers I have to the right of my decimal, which would be one, two, I'm going to put that many numbers in my answer. So my decimal starts here and I scoot it over one, two. So my decimal lands here and I end up with 129.35 as my answer. 129 and 35 hundredths. All right, let's try one last one together before we look at today's assignment. I've got 87.6 times 0.23. So my first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply that 3 out. So I'm going to do 3 times 6, then 3 times 7, then 3 times 8. 3 times 6 is 18. Carry the 1. 3 times 7 is 21, plus 1 is 22. Carry the 2. 3 times 8 is 24, plus 2 is 26. So I've multiplied my 3 out. So I'm done with my 3. So I move to my next row. Oh, that's my that's too small. Move to my next row, draw my placeholder smiley, and I'm ready to multiply out my two. So two times six is 12. Carry the one. Two times seven is 14, plus one is 15. Carry the one. Two times eight is 16, plus one is 17. Now I've done all my multiplication, so I'm ready to add my numbers together. So I have 8 plus 0 is 8, 2 plus 2 is 4, 6 plus 5 is 11, carry the 1, 1 plus 2 plus 7 is 10, carry the 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. All right, so I'm not done yet. My last and final step when I've got decimals is I've got to see how many numbers do I have to the right of my decimal. So I've got this 6, I've got this 2, and I've got this 3. That is three numbers. So there needs to be three numbers in my decimal places in my answer. So I'm going to start at the right, and I'm just going to scoot to the left three places. So I have one, two, three, and I end up with 20.148, or 20 and 148 thousandths as my final answer. All right, y'all. So we this is our assignment for today. It's going to be very similar to our assignment that was on Friday. So we're going to do three digit by two digit multiplication, but we're going to include decimals this time. On your second slide, it'll take you to the number generator that we used on Friday's assignment. So you'll click it, click the link, and it will bring you to our um, Google number generator. Make sure that your minimum is set to one and your max is set to nine. So it'll only do one number or one digit numbers. So let's go back to our assignment. Let's look at our first one. Our first one, we've got a three digit by two digit, but now I've got decimals, these big black decimals, included in my numbers. So let's generate five numbers. So my first one is going to be nine. So I'll type nine as my first number. My next number is going to be seven. So I'm gonna do seven. Then my next number is going to be three. So I'll type in three in the next box. My next number is five. So I'll do five in the next box. And my next one is one. So I'll do one in my final box. So I end up with nine and 73 hundredths times five and one tenths. So I'm going to do my multiplication. I'm gonna do my multiplication just like before. So I'm going to do 1 times 3, 1 times 7, 1 times 9, 
Then I drop and put my placeholder smiley right here. I'm going to do 5 times 3, 5 times 7, 5 times 9. As I said before, I would highly suggest doing this on a scratch sheet of paper and then just transferring your answers into these boxes down here um, because it is going to be kind of difficult um, depending on what device you're using. So, all right, let's try with my first number. So I've got 1 times 3. So well, 1 times 3 is 3. So 3 goes in my first box. 1 times 7 is 7. So 7 would go here. And then 1 times 9 is 9. So the 9 would go in my final box. So I've multiplied out my one. So now I'm gonna put my placeholder smiley. You could be zero. I like the smiley face so they don't accidentally, you know, fill it or forget it. So now I'm gonna do five times three, then five times seven, then five times nine. All right, five times three was 15. So I'm gonna put five here, carry my one. So one would go above here. So then five times seven is 35 plus one is 36. So 6 would be next. Carry my 3. So then 5 times 9 is 45 plus 3 is 48. So then I've got 48. So these are all of my numbers. Now I'm just going to add them up. So you can erase, type your answer here. And so then I would do 3 plus 0 is 3. 5 plus 7 is 12. Carry the 1. 6 plus 9 is uh, 15 plus 1 is 16. So 16 would go next. Carry the 1. 8 plus 1 is 9. 8 plus 1 is 9. And then four by itself is just four. All right, so now this is not my final answer. I have to remember, I've got three numbers. One, two, three numbers that were to the right of my decimal, which means I need to have three numbers in my decimal answer. So I would scoot it over, one, two, three. So if I scoot that over, I end up with one, two, three. And my decimal belongs here. So I end up with 98, or I'm sorry, 49.623 or 49 and 623 thousandths as my answer. So like I said, what I would suggest is doing these problems on a separate sheet of paper and then transferring all of your numbers for our boxes here. So your numbers for your boxes here would be what you did when you were multiplying out your numbers and then your final answer goes in the bottom. So you can use this first problem as your first, uh, as your first problem in y'all's assignment. You then have nine problems to complete on your own. We will go over random three by two multiplication with decimal problems together in our live, uh, in our live meets later this afternoon. And other than that, y'all have a great day and I will see y'all later. Have a good day, guys. Bye.